This Sunday could make a good year even better for Darius Rucker. The singer-songwriter heads to the Academy of Country Music Awards with three nominations, including his Grammy-winning hit, Wagon Wheel. But Jan Crawford went with Rucker to his hometown to learn how he defied the skeptics, including himself. When he takes the stage before thousands of country music fans. When he plays his Grammy winning song. It's easy to forget a lot of people said it would never happen. I didn't think I could get a record deal. I, like I say all the time, I wouldn't have given me a record deal. Really? Why not? Because it was a pop guy who had just had this huge success with this band and everything had leveled off. And why would I take a chance with this new con this, this guy in country music? I mean, you know, the pop guy coming out of country, it never works. With a little love. Darius Rucker was a pop superstar, lead singer of Hootie and the Blowfish. Their first album, released in 1994, sold 16 million copies. But when the band failed to duplicate that success, the record label lost interest. For Rucker, it was a defining moment, a chance to pursue a dream. I've been a country music fan for my whole life. You've been a country music fan your whole yeah. life. So you grew up listening to country? I grew up listening to everything. And country was a big part of it. You know, Kenny Rogers and Buck Owens and Hee Haw. And Hee Haw. Hee Haw was my favorite show on television. Did you admit that to anyone? At all the time, yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the time. I was I was proud of my love of Hee Haw. And I had older brothers and sisters who would come down on me. You know, what are you listening to? You know, why are you listening to that white boy music? And I always had my mom to tell them, shut up. You know, let him listen to what he wants to listen to. I don't really know why I got here, but I'm so glad that I did. How we got here to the top of country was by starting over. There were skeptics, and not only because of his pop background. Country music, its fans and singers, is overwhelmingly white. There was a little resistance to me when I came along. What'd you hear? There was a couple of guys who were program directors that were like, you know, I'll be honest with you, I, didn't, I never thought my, my audience would accept an African-American country singer. And I was wrong. They, they've all looked me in the eyes and said, I was wrong. You, you proved me wrong. What country music fans demand is authenticity. Rucker is genuine, and his music tells stories people can relate to. has eight number one country songs and earlier this year won a Grammy for best country solo performance. To sing country, Rucker says you have to have some country in you and he got his here in Charleston, South Carolina. I've always heard that saying like you can't go home again, but do you ever feel like you really left? No, no, I'm still the little boy that grew up playing basketball over here and and just, I, I, I don't feel like I ever left. I, I don't feel when I think back to those days, I feel exactly like I did back then. One of six kids raised by a single mother, Rucker says she taught him to believe in himself and not worry what people think. When he got married and started his own family, he moved back to Charleston, where he lives in a quiet neighborhood on the marsh. For me, it's the view. I, I mean, I wish it was high tide right now so you could see. Though. When it's high tide, it looks like you live right on the, right on the ocean. That foundation gives him strength. You can see it when he talks about a rare racial incident, the time he was greeted with slurs outside a show in upstate New York. We were shocked because we had been on the road doing this for seven, eight years, and, you know, it's just people are coming to hear the show. They don't, no one's worried about what color I am. They're, they're there to hear the music and have a great time, and you either like the music or you don't like it. And if you don't like it because I'm black, I don't want you to come to the show anyway. It's clear people like it, and so does the industry. Here I Rucker was asked to join country's most exclusive club, the Grand Old Opry. His friend Brad Paisley extended the surprise invitation. Would you like to be the newest member of the Grand Old Opry? Oh, you're kidding me. No, you're kidding me. Wow. Darius Rucker becomes the newest member of the Grand Old Opry. Off stage, his family and closest friends. It wasn't just that I had become a member of the Opry, but it was... The fact that all the important people in my life were there, you know, they were, they all came there to, to, to support me. And that was, 
That was off. That was off. Why was it so important for you, the Opry? That's something they can never take away from me. I'm a member of the Grand Ole Opry. I will be for the rest of my life till I die. And that's a comeback worth singing about. For CBS This Morning, Jan Crawford, Charleston. And the nicest, nicest, nicest guy, too. It just goes to show you that good music transcends color, it transcends everything. He is fantastic. And I can't think of, I've listened to a lot of country music, somebody who has so many songs that are recognizable where you know every word. Love Jan Crawford for doing that piece. Thanks, Jan. Goes to show you a pop guy who he can make it, Darius can make it in country. And you can watch the 49th Annual Academy of Country Music Awards Sunday night at 8, 7 Central, right here on CBS.